Vincent Davis starts as the running back. He's a sophomore from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, who was their leading rusher. And he'll get the call here, cutting back to the left side. Davis bouncing away and has 10, 15, and nearly 20 yards on first down. At App State, downhill attacking. Little tempo used by the Panthers here on third down and a quick throw to the near side. And this is the freshman Addison cutting into Louisville territory and tripped up shy of the 25 yard line is Jordan Addison. Chris Dulo holds and the kick is away by Alex Kessman and it is good. And the fumble of the football, but I think right back on it with Javian Hawkins. Here's third and long for Cunningham and the Cardinals and under duress Patrick Jones will sack him. Technically Roddy it's three and out for the Pittsburgh defense. Throw away the two penalties here's the punt. Travel stead and this is Addison working back here to the near side and into plus territory out of bounds near the 25. Kick by Kessman is good. So here's Cunningham to work. This is Hawkins and hit head on, and that was Kalijah Canson. That's Addison moving to a slot on the right in the first down given. This is A.J. Davis stepping through one tackle, make it two, and 17 yards and a first down. Do that the offense is what shines for Louisville? As we watch Kenny Pickett drop back and, and see if these defenders can make a play again or if he's going to be able to wiggle out of it, Wes. All right, here's Pickett fighting back. Lots of time on his feet and finally gets tracked down by Dorian Etheridge. Down and nine here for the Panthers. Pickett zips it down the field. And that is the first catch of the year for Taysir Mack. They converted earlier in this drive going to Taysir Mack, who's down at the bottom of the screen on the inside in that bunch formation. And yeah, with Addison on the perimeter, and Pickett looked that way to start. Now dances away again from pressure. Throws back across. The catch is made. A.J. Davis took a big lick, held on for the first down, and Davis is down. To the top on the right side here, along with the veteran Trey Tipton. Here's Pickett. Pass and catch for the touchdown, and it's Jordan Addison in the end zone again, Roddy. Second touchdown catch of the season for Addison, the freshman from Maryland. Watch Addison in the middle. He's going to run up, run a little stop right there, and then come back to the inside. Nice find by Kenny Pickett is 6 of 11, 56 yards and a touchdown. As you see him visit with his offensive coordinator, Mark Whipple, and here is J.B. and Hawkins breaking free and trying to win the race to the end zone and will 75 yards. And Louisville lights the fuse just like that, Roddy. Be there, and it's a foot race. The corners are playing man-to-man, -man, so they get a late start. You see him able to avoid DeMar Hamlin, and then it's all about speed, and J.D. and Hawkins has plenty of it. Likely the final play of period one here at Heinz Field. Pickett shoots it across to Shockey Jock Louis, who gets knocked out of bounds just shy of the first down. And they have now switched it, and we get a little wildcat formation here, and the snap juggled by Vincent Davis, and it goes backwards a lot. Hall stays in the ball game. And Cunningham wants to throw near side and open, and this is Marshawn Ford, the tight end. Fights upfield for the first down in front of the Pittsburgh bench where he got knocked down by Pinnock. That's true. Yeah. Uh oh, a little mix up in the backfield. They ran into one another. Now onto the flat on the right side. Here's Braden Smith with outstanding speed down the far side. Loss of a half yard. Cunningham to throw here on second down. Back up into the pocket and the hit made. Servassier Dennis. Cunningham. Tries to escape and cannot. And the kick is good. They ran it 46% of the time a year ago. Three point lead for the Panthers. Feels like a big drive for Pittsburgh. Ball deflected in the air and almost intercepted. Jared Goldwire. Pistol set in the three receivers. Cunningham. Wants the throw and open in the end zone for the touchdown is 2-2 Atwell and the cards are in front. 
defense was dominating Syracuse offense. Now you have faced. Now you are facing a foe that is your equal. How do you respond? Here's Pickett. Doesn't have a seam to throw. Going to take off and run with it, and he's got 14, almost 15 yards on first down. Pretty big third down play with under six to go, and Louisville in front after the Cunningham to Atwell touchdown. And Pickett to throw, and the house is coming from Brian Brown. Pickett got to cut it loose somewhere. It does, and it is in. They're accepted. No caught. That ball caught in traffic. Let's see what Pickett has planned. Cards bring a couple extra guys. There's the throw. Mack to catch a first down. Taysir Mack to the 25. He spun off, stayed on his feet. He's going to go to the end zone, and it's going to be called a touchdown. It looked like Yasir Abdullah had him on the ground. Mack went ahead and kept going just in case. Wes, if this stands, it's going to be a drive of almost for this Louisville defense. I could not tell there if his knee hit the ground, but the referees didn't see it. Cunningham dropping back. Weaver had it for a moment and runs him right into a teammate. Second and ten. Cunningham wants to throw. Here comes some trouble, and Malik Cunningham will not get away. Well, that time Cam Bright finished off the work of Patrick Jones, and now second and long. And now Cunningham trying to go up over the top, and it's intercepted. And it's picked off, and coming back is Marquez Williams with the interception, and Pittsburgh's going to end up with plus field possession after the turnover by the Cards. This Pitt team now has a chance to put points on the board and really make Louisville chase. Pickett escapes up the field. Kenny Pickett gets a first down inside the 20 and then gears down about the 18 yard line. On the near hash mark. And the kick is good. So three field goals for Alex Kessman today. And a play fake from Cunningham. Cuts it loose, Fitzpatrick the catch. And a first down as he stiff arms Williams to get to the sideline. Been able to get that going at all today. Cunningham looking for the quick throw and the sixth sack of the day. And that is Patrick Jones again. That they only average giving up five yards a play, which isn't terrible. Vincent Davis back in the ball game, and now all of a sudden, Louisville is starting to control things with their defensive front. And they're still going to fake it around the edge. They go first down and more for Louisville down the far sideline to Barrius Peterson, the defensive lineman. Kick is away and right down the scene. Just to get away for a little while and it meant so much to the players as well. It's a great story and Randy Bates a remarkable coaching journey and here is Davis spinning away toward midfield before the Cardinals can. And it feels like Pitt's trying to shorten the game going to this I formation running the football. Yep. Here is Davis banging away, looking for an extra block. Got it inside the 25 to the 24. Going to continue that. Yep. Snap to pick it. Back across the middle and intercepted off the deflection. The ball picked off, and that's C.J. Avery working back up the far sideline and across the 40 to the 45. Second of the day, let's see where this ball is. It's a little high and outside, and the deflection makes it an easy pick for C.J. Avery. Not quite as on target as I originally thought, but Louisville able to dodge a bullet. You know, these coaches definitely have energy, and the players were involved there, too. Cunningham trying for the shot in the interception. And it's Hamlin who's come up with the pick. Had situations over the course of this game and forced Pitt to kick field goals, and it really kept this game close. Here's Pickett firing to the far side. What a catch by Addison. Here is Pickett and the Panthers to work, and they give it to Turner on a little sweep around the edge for 5, 10, 15, knocked out of bounds up around the 40, 41 yard line. And out of the pit timeout, Cunningham wants to throw. Pressure coming. He will put it up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Pennock gets the pick. Ultimately, uh, this pit defense was too overwhelming. Kenny Pickett in this offense did just enough. And in the second half, remember, especially in the fourth quarter, Pitt went to basically a four-corner offense. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.